uh, I asked you this last week, 16 plays after the fumble, obviously you don't want to fumble, and especially mm -hmm. in consecutive right. games. Uh, but then 20 plays on the sideline. I mean, this time, did you feel like you got benched? Uh, I, would, I would say so. Bottom line is James is one of our best players, and he's got to be on the field, and we addressed it, and I feel like we're in a good spot. Guys, we got more Urban Meyer news coming out of Jacksonville, as it seems like everything is falling apart within the organization. According to Tom Pelissero, Urban has had multiple run-ins with players and other coaches over the past month, which has led many to question the coach's ability to handle an NFL team, with many speculating that the former Buckeyes coach may be out of a job after the 2021 campaign. And all this stems from Urban Meyer's repeated public comments shifting blame to players and coaches amid the team's 2-10 season. But that's not all. Apparently, many in the locker room have felt that the coach's condescending approach started to rub others the wrong way as in the past couple weeks, there have been a few altercations with the head coach. It's been reported that receiver Marvin Jones got so fed up with the coach's public and private criticism of the receiving court that he threatened to leave the Jaguars facility and had a heated argument with Meyer during practice. Then, in a separate staff meeting, Urban delivered a message to the group claiming that he was a winner and his assistants were all losers, challenging his coaches to prove their worth. Honestly guys, some of the stuff that's coming out of Duval County is pretty ridiculous and unheard of in an NFL locker room. And the fact that some of this stuff is actually getting leaked out is even more preposterous. And it didn't just end there, as there was also drama from last week's 37-7 road loss to the Rams where Urban prevented running back James Robinson from entering the game after getting benched for fumbling the ball earlier in the first quarter. And it was only until Trevor Lawrence stepped in and questioned his head coach's decision did Robinson come back in the game. Anyways, it's going to be interesting to see what develops in the next few weeks as the Jaguars take on division rivals, the Tennessee Titans. And if tension and locker room issues continue to build, one has to wonder if Urban Meyer will survive until the end of the season.